Uh, Fritzy took some shots yesterday. Uh, Chris Rose and uh, Kevin Mala. It's called Intentional Talk weekdays on Major League Baseball Network at 5 Eastern. So, uh, you know, they're at the World Series. And all of a sudden, you know, Fritzy, uh, see, can you play what Fritzy said yesterday about the host, Chris Rose? Uh, Fritzy, why, why, uh, why so mean-spirited yesterday? I just, uh, we were talking about the uh, wardrobe of the guys, and uh, I just, Chris looked like someone that uh, was looking for trouble wearing that particular garment. Well, no, no, you said he looked like he was getting ready to get beat up. I did say it. I did say that. All right. Uh, here's Chris Rose and Kevin Millar responding to Fritzy yesterday. I think that Fritzy said that I look like I wanted to get punched. <laughs> Fritzy, are you kidding me? You're the same slob that's wearing the same shirt every day on the Tan Patrick show when you're not wearing your Broncos jersey. Tell me, I would jersey. punch this guy. I would punch that guy on the right in the, in, in the candy cane striped shirt. That's an ugly shirt. All right. That's how it went down yesterday. Responded to Fritzy's comments. Uh, Chris Rose and <laughs> Kevin Millar from the Major League Baseball Network join us. Chris, I'll start with you. I mean, you did take a beating, but I got to admit, that was a bad blouse you had on yesterday, yeah, that's dude. that's true. That's, listen, Dan, you're married. Yeah. Just like I am. Occasionally, we walk into the wrong closet <laughs> and grab the wrong wardrobe. It just happens. I think you need to stay in the closet, Chris. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't let Millar's cackle on the line after that line. Will you dress differently because of what Fritzy said yesterday? I'm thinking of going plain white tee the rest of the World Series. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think I'm scarred for life. Fritzy has just nailed it. I'm finished. No white, Chris. He looks way better in dark colors, Dan, because of the oblique area. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Uh, Millar, you didn't look much better there. Your, your whole whatever that – did you get that from Billy Ray Cyrus, that, that, that shirt you had on there? It's a great call, but I'm in Vegas down with my wife that week, and I grab a few shirts. I'm like, this is a World Series. There's a store. That's, it's the store that the over 40-year-old dad store that looks like the affliction, the true religion. Hey, that's me. I'm thinking these are great for the World Series. Here's a red one, babe. I'll do this one first game. And she looked at me, and she's like, that's actually terrible. And I'm like, no, no, I'm getting it. That's how we roll. I put it on. I rolled to the yard feeling good about myself. True story. I get out within four seconds. I ran to Aaron Andrews behind the trucks, and I go, hey, how you doing? She goes, what kind of shirt is that? <laughs> and I go, what do you mean what? She goes, it's terrible. So she takes it because I got to get a picture of this. This is terrible. It started from there, Dan. It went all the way on to the game. Uh, so, yeah, I, I realized I'm a bad shirt picker outer and wearer guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if those are official titles or words you just used, but <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, the celebrities there last night. I saw. Let's see, Matt Damon. Okay, here's one I didn't understand. That Joe Buck's going around the building, and he said, you know, celebrities. And there's Kenny Chesney. Well, you were sitting next to Kenny Chesney. He didn't mention you, Millar. <laughs> yeah, we're tight. You know, I guess it's just, it's, it, it, people just know me. I just I saw that. My buddy texts me a picture. He goes, uh, no love for one five. It was just celebrity Kenny Chesney. Boom. But I did, I did add a cell phone. I did add a cell phone last night, Dan. I, I added Matt Damon into my cell phone, so that's big time. I think now I'm officially a celebrity now with Matt Damon's cell phone of mine. Okay, what are you doing next to Kenny Chesney? Chesney and I go back. You know, he took batting practice back in 04 with Boston, so I got him on the field, and we threw some batting practice with Dale Swain. And so since then, we've been friends and uh, actually flew on his plane yesterday. It's another world of lifestyles and rich wow. and famous. I don't know how it works, but it works, and I still had a bad shirt on. What about you, Chris? Did you get involved in any of this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I flew, I flew coach middle seat <laughs> Southwest uh, uh, from L.A. Um, well, he was – seriously, he, we did Tuesday's show – of our respective homes, he's like, listen, we got to wrap up the show. I, I got to fly to Nashville so I can get on uh, Kenny's jet. I mean, this is how he rolls. I don't know how he does it, but Millar's got access to every private jet, I think, in the country. And uh, I have no idea what it is. I don't know how you pull it off. You you continue to be the fake rich guy. You didn't make that much money in the show. So I know it's not that. I walked. I walked, Dan. I walked. I was David and Manny's teammate. Well, you got you know you got your uh, you know your bleached teeth and your frosted tips and a bad shirt. That's all you need, Millar. That's it. You're good to go, man. You're halfway there, but Danny. but you don't, got a ring. You the only got, thing you're not, you don't have to, you're, don't, you're halfway there. You just have powdered donuts in your hair. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, Kevin Millar from the Major League Baseball Network and uh, Chris Rose. Uh, intentional talk weekdays at uh, 5 Eastern. They'll be at the World Series game, too. Before I let you go, Malar, let me ask you this. You have uh, the call last night with uh, the umpires, and uh, Cosma drops the ball. 
10 year if this is the 2004 World Series as opposed to 2013, is that call overturned? No, no. Usually and never and hardly do you ever see a call like that. Tremendous job by the umpires getting it right. I was exactly on Matheny's call. As soon as they overturned that, you got to go out there. But you never see a call like that get overturned. And, and, and it really was a bad call because it was the right call once they did overturn it. But there was no exchange at all whatsoever with the right hand. Uh, before I let you go, have you guys heard anything about a unique ceremony before game two tonight? Yeah, I, I, I heard rumblings. Okay, but you don't know if it's true or not. Um, I, I can't confirm it. At yeah. this point, All right. I, you know what? I think they're going to bring back Chipper Jones and give him another special <laughs> they're ceremony gonna, tonight. Somebody's going to be there to catch the ball now. There's a rumor. Poor, Ch- poor Chipper. You know, <laughs> throw out first pitch and none of the Braves. Chipper Jones. <laughs> hey, listen, man. It's cool when you get the, the mascot. You know, after you played 20 years for one club, and yeah. the mascot comes out and catches your first pitch. Doesn't uh, get more pro than that. All right. Well, we'll be uh, watching to see what you got on tonight. Yeah, I got to go steam my blouse. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't disappoint me. All right. Thank you, boys. Thank All right, you. boys. Uh, Kevin Millar, Chris Rose, Major League Baseball Network. Yeah, Fritzy taking a shot. Didn't expect that. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.